Today is Monday, 24th of January, 2022, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is the judgment seat of Christ. It's taken from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 10, and it says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body, according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. Hallelujah. The judgment seat of Christ is different from the great white throne judgment. Pastor begins. The great white throne judgment is the most terrifying of all judgments and is reserved for sinners. The judgment seat of Christ, on the other hand, is where we, the Christians, receive our rewards one by one from the Master and not in groups, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. Notice what the Bible says, in his body. This refers to the body of Christ. When you were born again, you were baptized into the body of Christ, and you've been there ever since. How have you functioned in the body thus far? Have you done good or bad in the body? Be careful what you do in the body of Christ because everyone will receive a reward of the things done in the body, whether good or bad. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. That we can find in Romans 14, 10 to 11. At the judgment seat of Christ, Pastor says, None of us in Christ will be condemned. Hallelujah. Therefore judge nothing before the time unto the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, and then shall every man have praise of God. That we can find in 1 Corinthians 4 verse 5. Hallelujah. Pastor says, we are all going to be praised, even though it's a judgment where we'll give accounts. What about the bad things a Christian might have done? Someone may ask. The answer is in 1 Corinthians 3, 13-15. And it says, Every man's walk shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's walk of what sort it is, if any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved. Yet so as by fire. Wow. So Pastor says in conclusion, do more for the Lord and serve him with wholehearted devotion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. All right, let's take a prayer now from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for the privilege and opportunity to participate in the propagation of the gospel. I look forward excitedly to that great day when I'll stand before you and give account of everything I did in the body. I'm overjoyed knowing that all my services and sacrifices for the kingdom aren't in vain. Oh, what a day of rejoicing it will be. Amen. All right, for further study, please read Revelation 22, verse 12, and 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 25. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. 
Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He saved me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Every one of us has the capacity to become a forest. I'm a tree of righteousness and I am producing a forest, a forest of trees of righteousness. The February Global Communion Service and Praise Night with our man of God, Pastor Chris, is here. It's a unique and glorious opportunity to sing songs of praise to God to break bread and take the cup. What a celebration it will be. Join Love World Ministry Program.